All right, so we just took out the big bad troll. Got a journal out of it, right? Yeah, forest giant. As giants go, the forest giant is rather small. Good gods, let me never beat another forest or otherwise. Ours was a little less human looking than tales suggest, and instead of wielding a mace or sword, he smashes with a humongous leg bone. Another giants, perhaps. They say giants can live to be hundreds of years old, so there's no telling how long he's been stinking up that cave. I wonder, though, were all the human bones we saw his past dinners? Or was he simply extinguishing threats that have long since passed? If that's the case, we should really hire a maid. Though I do suppose an untidy cave dwelling is the least of his worries after meeting us. He should really hire a maid, he says about the forest giant. All right. Got ourselves new, new boots. Was it sandals? What's new? Oh well. New weapon. Halberd requires 30 strength. Shit. Yeah, nobody has that, but he, he, he can get it next level. It's kind of too bad I didn't put the points, the extra points in for that then. You could have had a really good weapon. It's a really big bonus to attack. Because uh, the way that melee attacks work is it's like skill damage plus attack damage. That'd be pretty high damage. Those remains look large. We can always use a shovel, can't we? Well, go ahead and equip it then. A magic shovel? Interesting. Equipping this, I feel something. Like it's trying to tell me where to dig. Then try digging with it. Maybe something will turn up. Nothing there. But it's telling me how far I am from something. Something? What kind of something? It's a shovel, Yoshka. How much communication can you ask for, really? Hello. If at first you don't succeed, dig, dig again. When it comes to finding hidden treasure, the magic shovel will tell you if it, if this if this time you've gone too far. There was a part I thought I might be able to dig in in the first zone. I wonder if I can go back. In fact, that looks like the first zone in that picture. Weird. Let us rest. They even stocked me up twice in that zone. No new dialogue, though. attempt will be better. Wait, it's getting further away? Hmm. So if I'm suspecting where one might be, last dig was closer. then as I move, I get a better sense of where it might be next. It doesn't continually show. It gives you more and more hints as you go. attempt will be better. Treasure. A missing button. I think we know where this goes. A leather jerkin and gold. Interesting. 90 meters. Well, now I'm definitely wondering, like, can I go to the previous zone? That didn't count as a secret, probably because it's a tutorial, this mechanic. Now I'm super curious. Hmm. Can the magic shovel deal with the other problem I have here, by the way? Let's not return here until we've figured out how to destroy those rocks. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I might be able to go to the previous zone. They're going to come at me with the shovel all of a sudden.
Oh, there's a whole path down here. Ah, there's something to dig up on the shore. Secret. Snake stone bracelet. Neat. Aw. Keep hoping for dialogue when I get to these places. No more chests nearby. Ooh, that's a fake door wall, though. A secret room with treasure and nothing here to kill us. Who says Operencia has totally gone to hell? No more chests nearby. Well, now. Exploring is getting detailed now. And after all that time worrying about secrets, I just found two. So that's cool. A magic shovel. This gives you intelligence. What are you wearing? Initiative. Uh, maybe go for the intelligence? Can you tell me what that is? There's a swirly swirl. Which, like... I don't see anywhere on this giant list of status effects. I want to think it might be my spell casting to power, but I'm not sure. It seems to rise with my intelligence. Whatever it is, this thing clearly indicates that I'll get stronger because my attack goes up when I put this on. Or my combat rating or whatever that is called? I don't know. I don't know what these stats mean. By Vigor. Ooh. What are you wearing? Three Vigor, some Poison Resist. Let's give you this five. Unstoppable. Five Strength. Five percent energy. Hmm. Little torn. Some health might not hurt. Another leather jerkin, 2 1, and agility. Kind of his thing. And we've got a club, 1 to 6. And an axe that no one can use till they have 20 strength, or you can use it. 1 to 10. It gives me... The top of the screen says negative 2 on the combat rating, I guess it must be. I think that's more or less what they're going for. The left one has more crit, right? Skull is crit? Yeah. Left one has a higher crit chance while having the same damage. This one just has some armor piercing. It's generally ranking itself as being lesser. The spear. Hmm. A few bonuses all around, but weaker defense. Here's the big bonus. I can just get ready for the halberd. Hmm. Just want to fill in that map. Alright, so 2 out of 10. 76% map. It seems to be a shorter zone than the last one. But lots of secrets, evidently.
sneak up on that spider. Yeah. Ain't never known what happened. They're all giants. Okay. Enjoy that damage. Ooh. They're all already giants, and they eat another one to become even more giant -er. I'm not a fan, generally speaking. Oh, cool. Just gonna miss all right. At right. Come on. Don't eat it. Unfortunate. And now I'm missing. Good job. Yeah, my ability to target the back row is getting really bad. But this is at least a guaranteed hit. First one's almost down. Soon. Soon. Still not necessarily worth doing, spending a whole turn healing. There we go. Gone. Okay. Armor's getting more elaborate. That armor looks interesting. And two people leveled again. There we go. What are you wearing for your chest piece? Bit of initiative, but this one. This one's also 3 1, but it gives me 3 strength and damage reflect. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Wisdom or intelligence? I've been going on wisdom so far. Hmm. Because Wisdom's my energy cap, Intelligence, I, I believe, affects my damage. Could split the difference a bit. Just trying to get to the next tier. Ooh, are you ready for this? Asphyxiation. Suck out the air from a large area and create a vacuum and deal 10 to 16 poison damage to all enemies within seven, with a 9% chance to kill them instantly. Boom. It also ignores their poison resist, which is... Why do you even have poison resist in the game, then? It just seems strange to have skills that specialize in ignoring the resistance entirely. Since we have a better strength character, I really do think I want to have somebody that specializes in agility more, especially since weapons are going to have stats are, be, are going to be specific to one stat or the other. Just wish I had a better ranged weapon to equip. Still just have this one short bow. But hopefully a legendary bow comes out around the corner sometime soon. So I can make more sense of this character. 
Oh, look, he's so... Oh, he's lounging in his death hammock of death. Ah, that might be what I, what I wanted. The Lost Journal. He said he was heading northwest, near the Rank Cave. That was three days ago. All just to bury a key in the form of a button. Alas, now I fear I will never see my boy again. We could have just taken the button back to the castle with us. It would have been the safest here, there. But it of course unlocks a secret armory, a place my boy knew that other soldiers in service to King Attila stationed all over Alperencia would appreciate access to as well. No out of the way trips to the castle would be necessary. They would need only the knowledge of where to look. It was an incredibly thoughtful gesture, but it most likely cost him his life. I do hope he refrained from entering the cave. Whatever caused that stench, nothing like I've ever smelled in all my travels throughout Obrencia, is sure not something a lone man could face alone. Perhaps there is even a gate to the underworld itself in there. If any place has them, it is this God's forsaken forest at night. Did I get a better bow? One to four. Uh, so it is bonus hit chance, but everything else is worse. Uh, I'm not happy with that. I wonder, could that be the merchant's house? Hello? Merchant, are you over there? Why don't you take the invisible bridge across for a closer look, Meze? There's no bridge. That would not be wise. No, it would not. Which begs the question, how do we get there? All right, Drac, do you only take things literally? What an interesting post. Are those grooves in her forehead? For a crown? Shit. That's not a good sound. Well, I'm pretty sure I want to get over there, so we better find what we're missing here. And also, let's definitely dig here. Yeah. Just a big open area to check. I definitely want to go back to the first zone, if it, if it ever lets me, and try... You alright? And try using the, uh... The shovel there. There was specifically like some areas that had like weirdly exposed dirt. And it seemed like that was exactly what it would be. Oh, it's a sequence, right? Acorn. Leaf. Owl. Well, down we go. Seems safe. Whoop. I've had bet. Oh. We can just leave and. Okay, we can come and go as we want. It looked like I was jumping in a hole. Not that I was jumping. It, it looked like I was jumping in a hole as opposed to what actually happened, which is I just went on down uh, some stairs that I just couldn't see at that angle. Come and get me. Ooh. Is such a disservice. Poison immune, you say? Instant killed. So nice. Damn. I got bad news for you guys. Hmm. <laughs> There's a chain. Alright. <laughs> Just heal as they die before me. Leather Salap. Vigor. They keep giving me new ones.
More vigor for me. One, one. One, one initiative. There we go. I gotta check the hotkeys in this game. Uh, controls. Inventory is I. Party is P. I keep pressing J to open the party. I kept pressing J and then scrolling to it because I couldn't remember what button it is. I don't know about the knife. Chest key. You don't see me. I'm a secret invisible boy. Haha! -ha! I can't believe that worked. What the hell? Really? Oh no, he's all out. Not all out of that. I actually, I should have taunted. Whoops. Now, now they're gonna attack whoever they feel like. Ah. Uh oh. Wow, I should have... I really should have taunted, apparently. Can I do this? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Taunt. <laughs> there we go, they're dying too. Come on, just die. Almost there. Solid block. How rude of me. I never caught your name. Leather shield. A beginner shield, but at least it's something. Why isn't our soldier ar armed at all? Looks like better than that, at least. Oh, now she's healed. Hmm. Mezzi, you leveled. Congratulations. You don your armor. Yeah, so everyone gets strength, vigor, and damage. Oh, the strength's probably already high enough anyway. Hmm. So I got a strength bonus from something else. It's practically the same shield, overall. I think I do want to try the... Where is it? The halberd. Small loss of defense stats, but huge bonuses to both the others. Makes him very aggressive. Hopefully we'll get a proper bow for you at some point. Okay, can I find, like, anything that helps my... health stat out? Or just defenses in general. I'm just gonna check to see if I'm like neglecting items here and have better ones. 312. It's hard to beat that. One one. No. Uh, I'm more or less set up the way I probably should be. Let's go rest. Regen. You could arguably get away without rege without resting most of the time because you could just use the various healing skills available to you. But they gave it to me, so let's use it. Because uh, multiple characters have healing spells. And then in turn, you also have the ability to regenerate your energy via resting and stuff like that. So you could become pretty self-sufficient. It's actually one of the reasons why I want to get that energy regen skill. Is because it helps keep our meters up. And that's the primary limit limiter on us, is how much of that we have. Recipe for a cherry bomb. Orders from King Atia. And a crown. Anything interesting? 
Other than this strange wooden crown, I believe a bomb recipe qualifies as interesting. Indeed. Still worthless without the ingredients and something to mix it in, though. We'll work on that. Orders from King Attila. Good Taltos masters. It is said Hadul himself walked into this very room ages ago, that his very own vault is protected by the large locked door. I can think of no better place in Operencia to seclude you for your important task that, uh, than where once stepped the Firesmith King. As you know, you are my last hope to save my beloved Queen Greca from her mysterious disease. I expect you to do everything in your power and more to find the cure. I put my trust in you. Do not let me down. Everything you need will be brought here, and I do mean everything. But know this, should you fail to find a cure, you shall never leave. You will die here yourselves with no one to bury you. Do not fail me. Do not fail her. Do not fail yourselves. King Attila. Wow, it seems like he was kind of a dick. What if, cause like, what if the task's completely impossible? Well, fuck these guys then. Oh. You need to find a cauldron. Well, I know how to find a cauldron. It was definitely at that shop. Want to create a concoction capable of destroying the dam that's making all the thirstier than usual? You'll need a recipe, materials, and a cauldron in which to place them all. Well, I have a recipe. So we got that going on. It's a letter from King Attila to Taltosh Master. It seems his wife took ill. And she never got better. What did I say about the Taltosh? Charlatans, all of them. Failures. It's why they no longer exist. Some do. So long as they don't involve themselves in my life, they can waste their lives away however they like. You're on a mission to find the sun. I see your point. These are mechanical enemies. Also, I'm all messed up now because this whole game I've been not pronouncing it Attila. Because obviously I know who Attila the Hun is and so on and so forth. Like, I know the name. But in the in the intro, they pronounced it Attila or something like that. They didn't pronounce it Attila. And like the the female character that was with it with Attila in the intro didn't pronounce it that way. But I guess that must have been another voice acting quirk because the voice actors in the beginning of the game were just like really questionable in general, more so than the rest of the game. Ooh, new spellcasting staff. What? Oh, it comes out it comes out as being a ranged weapon. Energy 2%. Thorns adorn this magic basic magic staff, making it neither particularly powerful nor comfortable to hold. <laughs> but hey, 2% energy. Neat. She has a spellcasting slots for both areas. It's weird how wand is in her melee weapon, but a staff is in her ranged weapon, because traditionally the that you would expect those to be flipped. You'd expect the wand to be a ranged weapon based on many games that have handled that similarly hmm That's quite the door. I've never seen such intricate use of copper. Just wish we had a key for it. Oh, it just straight up says that Oh, Collapsed Bridge has this, like, icon. Is that the specific hammer I need to solve that problem? I think that other cave may have had a place I could use this hammer. Or this, uh, this shovel. Let's find something we can use to concoct this potion. What do you think that wooden crown does? It's quite hefty, and its edges are very precise. Sounds like a secret key to me.
they're being maybe a little bit too on the nose about the obvious, like, very obvious, that's what I need to get to the, uh, merchant crown. Hello. <gasps> a bow and a gem? You get to have a real bow now. Superior short bow, two to nine. 50% more damage, and it has crit, and it has a higher crit chance. And higher hit chance. It may be small, but don't underestimate its power. And also we have a gem. A shiny gem. Is that for, oh yeah, it's for this menu. The stuff that the merchant might want to buy. Got two crowns now. All chests have been found. All chests. That's a new message. Before I said all, that you found. Before it said no more that there's uh, no more chests nearby. Now it says all chests have been found. Still, it could have been talking about that map. So here's yeah, here's the route where I expected the roots to have moved on. I'm gonna run down in this corner and try digging again. All chests have been found. It is insisting on that again. Hmm. That's perturbing a little bit. I've only found three of the ten secrets. This, we're about to be done with this zone, apparently, because... Like, that's... We're 94% map completion. Every campfire's been found. Pretty much just need to finish the quest. But then what the hell do the secrets look like? That's gonna drive me crazy. So I need to find more. But I also don't necessarily know what to look for. 